Welcome, folks. Thanks for tuning in to your weekly horoscope. I'm Ivy Rivera, psychic medium. I'm also a Taino air walk, and I use a combination of channeling of spirits, my psychic abilities, and information coming from planetary movements. Enjoy. Leos, what is going on with you for this week? On Monday the 10th and Tuesday the 11th, we have a re-examination of where you've been, who you've been, where you've been putting your energy. And this mostly has to do with your finances. It may also have to do with your career, previous training, and whatever it is that you've been doing um, for work. So with this re-examination, I think it's really important to understand that your past tells a tale about where you really should be going. And you're going to want to take the time, give it the time to examine all of that. On Tuesday the 11th, Wednesday the 12th, and Thursday the 13th, there is talk of a similar type of examination going on where you are looking into your past, but you're looking at who you are, where you've been, what you've been doing with your energy. In terms of mental and emotional state and relationships, where have you been investing? What is working out? What isn't working out? A lot of people don't take enough time to examine things like this. Therefore, how can you really proceed forward with bettering goals and an attempt to level up? We have to do the hard work and examine these things. There's talk here between Tuesday the 11th and Wednesday the 12th also on you closing a door on someone in terms of offering them help. Let's say that you find yourself in a power position or you are feeling empowered. You are somehow in a position of authority or you have done the hard work and you have the good uh, karmic, you know, wealth and energy there, but someone else wants to kind of get a free ride with you. I have you closing the door and saying, no, absolutely not. I'm setting boundaries right there in between those two days. Now there's also talk on Thursday the 13th of you doing a lot of healing in your heart. This can be in a relationship, but it can also just have a lot to do with you mentally, emotionally, even past life healing, ancestral healing, healing throughout your bloodline and the stories there. There's a lot of healing coming to you, which means that yes, you're doing the work, but also the universe is supporting you in that healing on Thursday the 13th. So take the time. On Friday the 14th, right in between Saturday the 15th, There's a talk of a pivotal point in a relationship, and I do feel like I'm talking about a love partnership, but for some of you, this could be any type of a relationship that is really important in your life. So if we were looking at a pivotal point within a partnership, we would be recognizing that we are either going to come closer together at this time or we're going to go further apart. And for some of you, it feels like we are looking at a breakup where either one or both people say, you know what, I'm not willing to invest in this. This isn't working for me anymore. And for others, I see an advancement. So we could be looking at marriage, engagement, having a child, merging of finances, residency, um, maybe just even commitment or understanding each other better. So that can be a really beautiful thing. Now on Friday the 14th, and Saturday the 15th, we have a mutual theme on both of these days having to do with circumstances holding you back. And what this means is that you're not the one holding yourself back. The pressure isn't on you to move forward per se, but it is more about you not having all the pieces of the puzzle or circumstances in your life either being stagnant or not giving you enough data information to know how to move forward just yet. You're waiting on some breakthroughs. In a nutshell, your ancestors, your guides, God, the universe is supporting you in this and they really want you to examine on Saturday the 15th that if you were in a circumstance where you will remain for a while, the way that you're handling it right now, how long can you sustain yourself then? You know, what can you change in the way that you are approaching these stagnant circumstances that are holding you back? How much energy can you conserve? How can you change negative attitudes or thought processes about it into something less anxiety or anger inducing and something more peaceful and positive? Make the changes that you need to make. The ancestors will be there to help you through, but you need to look at this as though it isn't going to just disappear tomorrow. And I would put anywhere from a two week to a two month uh, time clock on that situation. On Sunday the 16th to Monday the 17th, there's talk of a general theme on both of those days of um, 
you really speaking out more and saying what it is that you want. It wasn't really saying it as much as it was stating it. And that to me means that the spirit sees you in a position of power more than you may even realize you are. So it's like, I'm not asking, I'm not suggesting, I'm not hoping, I'm not just saying this. I am stating that I'm deserving of this. This is what is going to have to happen and this is how it's going to happen. And if you come to the table in that manner in this situation, I think you're actually going to get what you uh, have asked for, possibly even more than that, because it sets quite a tone uh, for negotiations as we go forward. And I did also see on Sunday the 16th a breakthrough with your finances or resources, whatever you consider a resource in your life. Uh, they said money, money. So uh, we're looking at two separate breakthroughs or two levels upward there and I think that Leo's as long as you do the hard work here you're going to um, find yourself in a more comfortable position certainly by uh, the beginning of next week. Leo's have a great week.